Today we are launching the uh, Makongeni Water Project, which is um, a water project that was sponsored by Dunea, our partners. The main aim of this is to uh, supply the Makongeni, Kapita, Rangwena areas with water. These general areas had no water for the last over six years, but I'm glad to report today that um, uh, water is now flowing in uh, people's taps. Uh, the customers are happy with this. Uh, we have our new um, uh, installed uh, water pump, uh, which is uh, about 100,000 uh, cubic, uh, which is uh, uh, about 100,000 cubic meters per hour. So uh, this is helping the areas of the uh, community to uh, at least get water uh, very well in, in the general area. So I'm glad uh, the support that uh, the county government under the uh, leadership of uh, Eric Excellency uh, Gladys Atieno Nyasunawanga for supporting uh, this cause and ensuring that all uh, promises that he, she made uh, to the people of Homa Bay are being made. Currently, uh, we are producing enough water. Our production capacity is um, 10,530 uh, cubic meters per day, and uh, demand for Homa Bay is um, 6,800. So our main challenge is uh, storage. So this means that whatever we are producing, we are pumping uh, uh, 247. Uh, the main thing that we are now focusing uh, moving forward is to ensure that we have enough storage to help us distribute the already existing water, which is good enough to supply uh, the residents of uh, Homa Bay. I would tell you that the financial year that is ending, uh, the county government of Homa Bay has spent about 200 million uh, with respect to provision of clean water. Uh, rural water alone, the county government has spent about 154 million. And then within our municipalities, in terms of rehabilitation of our water projects and reticulation of water, we have spent about 60 million. What you've seen today is reviving the old water points that uh, went dead about 10 years ago, like we are from Kapeta, uh, the entire region that you see on this other side of Homa Bay has not had uh, running water for about 10 years. And the governor did commit that this is one of the things that you do. And so people are happy that for the first time in a period of 10 years, they're able to have running water uh, clean, because one of the things that we are grappling with as a county are waterborne diseases, though closer to the lake, but again, far from clean, safe, and adequate water. 